What is going on YouTube? Welcome to another video from Featured Tech. Today we're going to be reviewing the Hycotus RD-813 projector. Now you may recognize the Hycotus name from a previous video we did. Hycotus also makes the scanner that we reviewed a couple weeks back. This is their projector. And now we're going to unbox it. As you can see in the back here it has the specs for it, the battery life, just more pictures up front. Let's get into the video. So opening up the box here, you get your instruction manual. The iCoders customer service card, so this lets you know about the warranty. So this projector comes with a 12 month replacement warranty. If there's any manufacturer defect on the for the projector, they replace it for you without any issues. It shows you who to contact on here. You can contact them to get your replacement. Now, the actual projector. I'm very excited about this product product. This projector looks amazing. So this is the projector right here and then on this side you got the focus so you can focus more on the image that you're projecting and then back here you have several options to connect so you're not limited to just one so right here is your power power cord to connect to the wall and get it, get it powered on then you have two options if you have Two different USB you know connections you can connect it through there you have an HDMI connection a VGA connection an audio connection and your power off and on button so this is all you need right here to power it on and get it going on this side nothing more just another fence for the fan and then down here is your serial number and more product information And underneath the projector, right here you get this white box with a lot of cables. So included with this, this is your HDMI cord. So they do include an HDMI with the projector, which is great. This is your remote control to control the projector and so if you're sitting away from the projector, you're enjoying a movie, enjoying some kind of, you know, cinematic video, you can control it with the remote control, which is also another great plus. The projector also has a tripod that comes with it. So you can put up the projector on here. We're going to showcase that in the next segment. Then you got the power adapter, which is the one I showed you. So right here, like I showed you before, and the back end of the projector, this is where the power connects right here. Okay, we're going to remove that for now because we're going to show you that later. And then you got the other part of the power adapter. Let me show you that. So then this part right here connects to the first part of the power adapter right here. Right here. And then you got the wall outlet. And then this is the part that connects to the projector. Then finally, this cable right here is 
your VGA cable. So this is again, like I showed you previously, this is one of your other options when you're trying to connect it, trying to connect your computer with a VGA input. This is your adapter right here. So now we're going to talk about the projector's features. So the main difference between this projector and most other projectors on the market is that this projector features DLP, which pretty much stands for Digital Light Processing. So while most projectors have LCD, which is the same concept as most of your TVs at home, uh, this one has DLP, which what it does is that it uses tiny microscope mirrors, so to speak, so it can project what you're watching onto the, onto the wall or whatever area you're projecting the projector at to watch your video. And what that does is uses more saturated colors, so it gives you that you know, resolution accuracy when you're watching your TV show or movie or just any, any video you're watching. That is one feature of it and that is called the DLP. So this projector, the specific one from iCODIS, features 3,000 lumens. So these lumens are great. I mean, the more lumens a projector has, it's really better for the imaging and the video that it displays on your wall or on really your wall or whatever you know, you're using to project your video. So lumens are very important and it has 3,000 of them. So that's great. And then it has a native resolution of 720p. So it can play your videos at 720p, but it can go up to 1080p and HD for depending on the video that you're playing. And then another thing is that for the battery, it features a 10,000 mAh lithium battery, which has a very good battery life. We're gonna get into that later in the video, but overall, very cool features. Now let's talk more about how it, how it works and we can go into that now. So now we're gonna show you how to power it up, connect it to the iPad. For this we have the iPad Pro, the 12.9 inch one, but I have the adapter for it which uh, has an HDMI, USB, lightning, uh, the USB-C, and then the auxiliary cord adapter. So what we're gonna do is connect it from this using the HDMI uh, outlet right here. And then we're gonna connect it to the other HDMI output here to the iPad so it can, it can project, <laughs> it can project our videos, we're gonna show you guys one of our other videos on the wall right there. So what we're gonna to begin to do, right there, an HDMI cord is already included with the projector. So what we're gonna do is connect it, and then connect it to the iPad. Okay, right here. And then we're gonna power it on. The power button is right here. So it begins to power on a bit, then it shuts off, then it powers on again by itself. We're gonna put it down. And now we're gonna show you sample footage showing one of our videos on the projector. And we'll show you how everything works. Now we're gonna show you how to play a video on the projector on your wall. So like we showed you previously, we connected the HDMI cable from the projector to the iPad. And now we're just gonna press on one of our videos and we're gonna select HDMI. And then we're gonna do this. What is going on YouTube? Welcome to another video from Feature Tech. Today we're gonna be reviewing a generic massage gun. They've been all over my newsfeed. I'm sure they've been all over your newsfeed. Today we're going to be taking a look at them and going into an in-depth review showing them, showing you how they work as well as what each attachment is for. Now before we get into the video, I just want to mention that the giveaway is still going on. We are giving away this month a solar camera. I'm going to leave a link in the description below. Let's get started. Okay, 
so starting out, this is what comes inside the box that you order. So you open up this little mini. So this is sample footage, just so you see the colors and you you can see what the colors look like on the projector. Now this is in a small ratio. This is not a big screen. I would say that this is about 20 something inches on the screen, on the wall that's being projected. So it, it is very good, but then once you expand it more, it's gonna be a little bit better. But this is what it looks like on a shorter ratio, about approximately 20 inches. This is what one of our videos looks like. A few things I want to notate out of this projector. So if you notice the, uh, the color on the iPad, so notice the blue in our giveaway screen is different from the blue over there. So there's a, it's, like a, it's like a lighter blue that is being projected, but on our iPad, it's like a darker, just regular blue. So there's a difference in coloring. Same thing with the yellow. I mean, of course, you can't really see it with the white, but same thing with the yellow. The yellow, even in the projecting of the sun towards the actual solar panel right here, you can see the difference in the yellow. So really, when it comes to colors other than white, just expect that it's going to lack a bit as far as, you know, in, in coloring. Now, a cool feature to offset this little con of the colors is that it has an auto adjust feature. So when you move it, let's just say we're moving it right now, you see how it's adjusting? So the more you go back and you expand, it adjusts. So let's just say we're gonna bring it down again, right here, it adjusts by itself. So you don't have to keep trying to adjust it. It has a gyro sensor that adjusts to how you're moving it so the screen that you're projecting is not tilted. So next we're gonna show you the settings into the projector and we're gonna show you all the settings that you can adjust and the settings that are even open for you to adjust. So let's get into that. Before we continue into the settings, I just wanna show you the features of the remote and the buttons and what does it do. So you got your power button, which powers on and off the projector and you got the menu button which goes into the detail of the projector itself and if you need to adjust any settings within the projector. You got the source, which you can switch from uh, between HDMI, USB, and other options that you see down there, and VGA. Then you got the arrows, so you can navigate around. Then you got the volume minus, so you can decrease the volume, mute, or increase the volume. Then you got the pause and play button, you got the back button, and then you got the ratio button so you can adjust the ratio of the screen you're watching. Now we're gonna go over the projector settings. So the first setting you have that you can adjust is the actual projector setting so that you can adjust the mounting, brightness mode, so you can change it between, excuse me, you can change it between movie, save, standard, so we're gonna keep it at standard. Then you have battery info, which gives you pretty much, it lets you know how the battery's operating. So not right now, the battery's connected via AC uh, cord, AC power cord. So it's not gonna show you the battery info because it's currently charging. Then you got desk mode. To be very honest with you, we're not sure exactly what desk mode is. We tried to look into the manual. We couldn't really find uh, what desk mode means and what does it do but it's on, so who knows? <laughs> and then you got a software update, so if it does need a software update and there's a new version out, so right now this is the latest version, but if it does need a software update, what we can do is that you connect it via USB to your computer, and then you download the software, you download it, and then projector is updated. The next setting is regarding the picture, so you can adjust the picture from standard, to mild, to user, where you can adjust the contrast, brightness, color, and sharpness yourself, instead of it being already preset for you. So if you want the brightness to be higher than what you're watching right now, you can adjust it on your own. And then we're gonna do that, we're gonna go back here, 
I'm gonna go back in. Okay. Next we have sound mode. So sound mode, it gives you different options. Again, so you can have standard, music, movie, sports, and user, which is where again, you can customize the treble and bass yourself if you're not satisfied with the options they're already giving you. So that's great for a person who's very picky about how they wanna hear their, their sound. It can be very useful. Again, you can adjust the balance. Also, you can just let it do auto volume. So it just does the volume for you and adjusts the settings for you. Next, you got sleep timer. So you can adjust it to 10, 20, 30, 60, and 90 minutes. So if you wanna adjust it to 90 minutes and the movie, let's just say is an hour and 20 minutes, you can adjust it to 90 minutes. And when the movie is done, a few minutes shortly after the movie, the projector would shut off itself and you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to worry about the you know, projector still running and consuming the battery. So that's also a great energy saver for the battery. Finally, there is option, which is just the overall option of the projector. So here you can adjust the language settings. So if you don't want it to be read in English, you can change it to a different language. They have different, you know, all types of language. They have uh, Espanol, Italiano. There's different settings in there. And then, oh, we changed it to uh, French. <laughs> But then right here is that you can restore it to factory settings. So we're going to change the language back to English. And then I'm going to go back here. Yeah, so you can restore it to factory settings. So if you're changing a lot of options and let's just say you want to bring it back to the original options, how it came in the box, just restore it to factory settings. As you can see, we didn't really change many options because honestly, the way it's set up as is, it's very good. And then HDMI mode and blending. These are the options for the projector if you want to change any. These are all the overall options. You got the option, time, sound, picture, and the projector options. So if you do want to adjust anything, you go to the settings menu. Here are my final thoughts on this projector. Now I had a week of testing it out and I have learned a lot of the pros, a lot of the cons about this projector uh, because before we just wanted to, you know, to give you the final thoughts after just a day or two of looking at it, we wanted to actually give this an in-depth review and take a look at it fully. Now, to be honest with you, I watched several shows with this thing and I also watched The Irishman. I watched six, seven episodes of Shark Tank. I watched a couple of you know, episodes of Law and Order. So I, I definitely, you know, in the last week, I have abused this projector. I'm not gonna lie to you. Now, my, my final thoughts on this projector, we're gonna start off with the, with the cons. So the one thing I noticed, like a few things I noticed while I'm using the projector is that it flickers. Sometimes as you're watching a movie or show, it doesn't matter when you're watching any type of video and you're projecting it, the, the imaging and the video flickers randomly and it's usually for a very short amount of time. It usually does it for, I would say five seconds, but then it goes back to normal again and it's, it's great. So that is one con. Another con is that the sound cuts in and out. Now I can't definitively pin this on the projector it seems to be like it's happening from the projector. I do have an, you know, an external speaker that I was using, uh, you know, with this projector when I was using it with the iPad. So I don't want to definitively say it's the projector's fault, but it seemed to only be happening when I was using the projector. When I'm watching the iPad, the same exact show at the same exact time that the sound was cutting in and out, it wasn't happening. So I feel like it's the projector's fault, but again, I don't want to put the blame 100% on the, on the projector. Another thing we noticed is the, the tripod is just very flimsy. It's just weak. 
and it just doesn't support the, the projector very well. And we felt that for a $350 projector, there would be a better tripod included with the projector that's more uh, well-built, more sturdy than the one they included. So these were the, you know, some of the cons. Actually, the one final con I want to mention as well is the, the sound quality from the projector itself, which I know most people are not going to be intending uh, for the sound quality to come just from the projector, but I just, you know, I, I do have to mention it so you know. The sound quality from the projector itself is, is not good. It, it's just very distorted. It's not, very, it's not good at all. Uh, so I do suggest that you use an external speaker, something that you can connect uh, your, you know, your video when you're watching it, you connect it, and I think that's why they also give you, you know, an auxiliary, you know, uh, connection in the back. You can connect it to a speaker when you're using it. And as far as the tripod being weak, I was relying on this thing that pops, that piece of plastic that pops in the back. This thing is also great, it does very good work. So if, you know, if you're comfortable with the tripod, that's great, but from our observation, the tripod just was very flimsy, very weak, and we were very disappointed that this was kind of the project, the tripod that was included with an expensive $350 projector. Now let's get into the pros. On the, on the listing, on the listing in Amazon, on Amazon, it says this thing has the ability, the projector has the ability to have a playback of up to two hours once it's fully charged. Now, after testing this for two weeks, they made well on that promise, they made well on this listing, you know, feature that it does last for two hours of playback and it's great. Next is the build quality. I love the build quality that even though it's small, you would think it's just, you know, just easy to move around, it's just flimsy. It's great. No, this is this is heavy, it's well built, and I don't have any issues with the build quality or the quality of how it is, the materials used. It's great. For a $350 projector, I think it's great. Uh, another pro that I like a lot is the you have several ways to connect it. So like we showed you in the unboxing and previously in other sections of the video, is that you have USB 1, USB 2, you have the HDMI and VGA. So you're not limited to just, let's just say HDMI connection. If you have a VGA cable, you can definitely use that as well and connect it. That's a great pro, so you're not limited to one thing. Finally, the best pro of it all is portability. So if you have a cabin out there and you know, you don't go to your cabin a lot and you don't have a TV, you can bring this with you, watch your favorite shows. You don't have to, no, you know, nobody brings a TV with them to a place they're going once or twice a year. You know, so this is a great projector that you can take with you, watch your shows, catch up on movies while you're out there in, in, the, in the woods and just have a little downtime. You can watch these shows and just bring your tablet with you or laptop and just have a smooth connection going on and it can project whatever you want to watch out there. And on a full charge, like I mentioned, it lasts for two hours. So these are the pros and cons. This is what we think of the product. I think overall it's, it's a great product. $350 is we believe is a very competitive price point for a projector like this with its features, especially the auto adjust feature is great because when you're moving the projector, you, you want to be able to just adjust itself because then it begins to be a little bit annoying. You're trying to adjust it, add a book underneath or something to balance it out. It's just obnoxious. So for something like this, adjusting itself, the resolution, it has 3000 lumens, uh, you know, bulbs inside. While there is a little bit of cons, it, it definitely doesn't outweigh the pros. The pros outweigh the cons in this, in this scenario with this product. So if you're in the market for a projector, definitely consider this. It's, it's for $350, it is really worth the point, it's worth the price point, it's worth for you to at least take a look at it and consider it part of your options. Okay everyone, so this was our video for this week. We reviewed this awesome projector. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments section below. 
Also, don't forget, we have a giveaway going on until the end of this month. We also have a new giveaway starting February. We're also giving away another solar camera. And we're also going to be giving away during that month as well, 25, 40% off coupons that are eligible to be used through amazon.com for the solar camera. I'm also going to be leaving a link in the description below for the Amazon listing for this projector. So if you like the video, go check it out, learn more about it. And if you like it, buy it. We hope you guys have a great day. We hope you enjoyed the video. Take care.